Hi everybody! I hope you're all doing well. I've got a five minute mini session for Johannes and we're going to be doing an update on his energy field. I just did a 60 minute session for him. It was an energy upgrade session. Um, there was some really interesting challenges that I stepped into in that session. So I'll put a link in the description if you're interested in checking that out. Um, so in this session, I'm just going to step in and see what Johannes' energy field looks like at this time. Okay, so I'm going to relax here. So, it's a lot of uh, heavier energy around the third eye and face, the heart. Um, it's a bit dense, so just breathing through it right now. Um, I don't know what this is, like soap bubbles. It's very thick, like it goes on forever. So I'm walking into this patch of um, infinite what looks like soap bubbles, but it's dense. It could be cotton candy even, um, it could be really thick fog, it's white. And it feels like you're in deep thought, deep processing. This isn't necessarily a negative thing, it's just, um, it's just a response to what you're going through right now. So it's just... I feel like you're in deep thought or deep feelings about things and it's just creating this uh, energy response, okay? It's not necessarily a negative thing and I'm not going to clear this out right now. I'm just going to let it be and then let's explore some more and see if it's time yet to do that or, or what to do next. All right. So they want me to open, there's a, I'm walking to the center or nucleus of whatever this is and you are there and you're in deep meditation and I don't want to distract you or disturb that. There's a trap door in front of you on the floor so I'm opening that up and uh, my spirit guides are telling me to go down into there. So I'm doing that. And this uh, space that I've walked into has a lot to do with your mental body. All right, so you're ready for, I mean, I'm going to open up a pocket here and this is going to give you access to a lot of hidden stuff for you, okay? And it's basically a, a Pandora's box place. When I go down here, it's kind of like, it's lots of shadows and um, it's just, um, it's nothing fearful. It's I don't find that any of this stuff to be threatening or scary, but it's kind of like a old demons sort of thing. Um, and you need to take a look at this. So and you're ready to. So I'm actually opening this up so that you can have access to it now. They just keep dancing around, these just shadows just keep dancing around in an orangish colored light. It's really hard, it exhausts my heart a lot. And the space is sort of an open wound and you're still in that white and you're meditating, sitting down on the floor, but this is open now before you. I mean, it's an open wound before you, but you're not coming out of meditation in order to take a look at this, at least not yet. There is a strange scent to it, like a burnt flesh. Mm. You are smelling it here in your meditation state. But you aren't leaving that state of meditation in order to explore this. That's not necessarily a bad thing. <sighs> I 
because this is sort of an opportunity for you to be distracted by these uh, inner shadows, okay? And the scent that is um, to awaken you to taking a look at this. But I find that it's wiser to just stay in this meditative process because it's not ignoring it, it's not um, resisting facing it, it's actually you need to stay in this meditative process because it's a wiser place to be and this is only going to bring you down and you don't need to be brought down right now, it's not appropriate for you. This, is, this could actually heal on its own just by you accepting it and continuing to focus on what it is you are wanting to access which is more higher vibrations. And I don't, I don't necessarily feel that this is um, your responsibility right now, okay? <sighs> All right, I'm gonna stay with this for just a little bit longer. There's a much darker charred uh, looking being that is coming up and out of the wounds of this place. And he's very big in comparison to all the others. And you are still in a meditation surrounded by this white. And he's like the king or ruler of this other realm. And you are in between worlds deciding if you will return and uh, face this or if you will just continue your pathway in this meditation. And I say, all right, if it's already distracting you out of your meditation, then you need to just be out of the meditation and you need to face this. Otherwise, it's going to continue to distract you because you're not strong enough. You're just choosing the distraction. So you need to just face it. All right, so you open your eyes and you get a huge whiff of this and it's gross smelling. And this large um, being is here. He looks like just burnt flesh and he's huge and he's a shadow as well. It's just like a burnt shadow. And the question is, who are you, Johannes? And what is your strength and what is your stance on this? And what is your choice here as well? Do you actually understand this realm or the concept of this um, demonic energy? Because I don't feel like you're... Um, your energy field is telling me that it's it's a not studied or understanding of what this is on a, a well-versed level, okay? It's just um, exploring the idea of it without knowing the depth of it. Because demonic energy, it, it's not like... Um, it could be a test. It could be just a test that you need to just say, I'm done with it now. Or it could just be an opportunity. I mean... It, it's so many things. It's a million different things. So I have to really evaluate your energy field in order to help you through this one here. Because what I'm looking at isn't, isn't, um, how do I want to put this? I'm just going to continue to watch and then I'll tell you some more stuff, okay? I just see that it's a uh, it's distracting you and it's wobbling you from and it's confusing you. This dark shadow stuff is confusing you. And now that it is confusing you, now you are being distracted away from where you are actually wanting to be, which is at a higher vibration. So why are you doing that to yourself? Why not just let go of the demonic energy? I've already done the work, right? So in that session, um, I did work to help clear out a demonic energy from Johannes' energy field. Um, this wasn't your typical demon. I mean, it's more like um, 
a fear within the self that is creating manipulation and holding the self back without really having a conscious awareness of it. It's a different type of demonic energy. But now that you've been introduced to it, you're getting distracted by it when really you can you can just simply say, all right, whatever, I know where I'm going and I'm going to a higher vibration. And now you don't need to deal with any of that stuff. Because as you continue to grow and expand, new versions of that are going to reveal themselves because it's time now for you to see that and it's time now for you to shift your um, stance or your um, self-expression, okay? So now, new, so now you're building structures all the time, right? So let's say five years from now, you're transforming into a new version of yourself. So what you've been building on the last five years could now be a demonic version of you because it's holding you back from becoming yet another reborn part of yourself. And is it really demonic um, or is it afraid of transformation? But it's still yet demonic because it has those characteristics. So now this has become a test for you. Um, if you would sink into it or not. And it is distracting you and it shouldn't. It doesn't have to. However, I also can say that you you aren't, um, you don't have a lot of depth of uh, understanding when it comes to this type of energy and what it actually means and why it is there. Something is changing and now everything is melting away, okay? That big burnt being and all the other shadows that are dancing, they're all just melting away. And um, that fog you are in is starting to dissolve. And you're kind of closing the book on this and you're deciding that you're just going to keep going then. And if you're meant to know more, then you'll know more when you're meant to know more about that. But right now, you're really called to focus on continuing to raise your vibration. So whatever we come across, let's just clear it out and then get to the next thing, okay? Okay, that's all I can share. All right, Johannes. Cool stuff. I'm just disconnecting from your energy field here. You needed this because you needed perspective. And you, a huge change. I mean, you, you've already come full circle that quick. So, and this is good <laughs> because you didn't need to linger in that any longer. You just need to get to the next thing, which is continuing to grow in a more like focusing on more of the positive energies right now. I mean, that's really what it is. <sighs> okay. Thank you so much, Johannes, for this experience and for sharing it with everybody. And for those of you watching, if any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Okay, everybody, thank you for watching. I hope you all have a great day.